Yo, it's your boy Noop, 1949, and I got a little quick video, let me turn this light off, a little quick video for you guys. Alright, so, what you see open on my computer, rookie DJs, old head DJs alike, I'm going to run you through it. This software is called Beyond Compare. Now you probably can't see that. There you go, Beyond Compare. Oh my God, talk about saving my life, yo. So, over to me. As the music aficionados that we are, we are constantly backing up music, transferring music, and moving music. I currently have a desktop. It's on its last legs, so I got to hook up on a laptop. Y'all need a laptop? Holla at me, inbox me. Deals. So I got a laptop and I also have an external hard drive. So what was going on was I had my entire music collection on my desktop and I had it backed up on my uh, external. So I'm DJing my new Mark 4 track and um, I said, okay, I want all my music on here. I organize my music on iTunes personally. Um, for me, it's easier. I just make playlists and um, actually I name it after the event. And what I did uh, with my last event, actually, it was my uncle. I just changed it to a, a general playlist for R&B, slow jams and hip hop because all the songs are pretty popular and pretty well known. And I can probably play them at most events. And that might be a good mixed bag to go through, go through um, at any event. And it's about six hours of music. But that's how I did it in iTunes. But I might do a video on that later. But back to compare. So. And having different computers and different systems, it's not 10,000, 150,000% essential for you to have to have every song. Sometimes when you transfer, there's an error where like it'll say the file name was too long and couldn't transfer, which happened with me because I deleted everything off, all, all my music off here and took the music off my laptop and put it on here because I'd updated some of the files on here and had more music on here than I did there. So during that, I got this error. So this software called Beyond Compare, I'm going to buy it. I'm using the trial. It's a 30-day trial. What you can do is this. You enter your path. So you basically, and this is my path, desktop, and that's all my music. Okay? So it pulls up all my music. And again, you just enter the path up there, wherever you want to look, and it shows it on one side. Then you find where you want to compare it to. And I believe that folder is browse folder. And I'm going to browse file systems. I'm going to go to my computer. Then I'm going to go to my external storage drive. And then I'm going to find Rob Music there. Bang. Then I hit OK. So now immediately, instead of, because I know sometimes you probably did the same thing I did. You tried to go through and see which ones weren't right and you were writing it down and going through and doing it one by one. This pulls up, this is all the music on my computer and I, I know the video is blurry, I apologize, but my camera on my phone has autofocus. And this is all the music on my external. So this is the music on my computer, this is the music on my external. And it lines all the alike files alike. Now I'm gonna show you what it does Let's say, sorry, DJ Puzzle. Oh my God, it's too deep. Let me take Joe Button. Bong. Let's say I delete intro. Let me delete this. Let's say, for example, and some of y'all might have seen what just happened. Let's just say, for example, all right, I copy my music, okay? And some of the files, it said there was an error, I couldn't copy it. What you see in the software is it's blue. You see that right there? It turned blue. That lets you know that, hey, you know, these two files had the same name, but the one in the blue, which is this one, has something in it that this one doesn't have. So what you can do is click on it, the blue one or either or. And that's another thing. Watch what happens when I click on it. It opens both sides and the track that's missing intro, which is the one I just deleted intro. So there's two ways um, you can right click. And then you can say you want to copy to the left. And they'll copy that to the left. So I'm going to do that now. Bong. It's going to pull up this little screen. And it's going to ask you if you're sure. You say start. 
and bong. It moved it. So it mirrored it for me. Now earlier, earlier I had an error for 271 files. Now who wants to sit down and compare 271 files? Not me. So when I pull this up, this button up here, get focused baby. This button, do, 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 do. okay, it's not here, because let me delete it again. Oh, no, I lied. There it is. This green button, you see update left, update right. So if you have multiple files missing, so if you have multiple files missing, like let's say I was missing, you know, all those 271 files on the left-hand side. All we'll have to do is click update left and it would take all the missing files that were on the left side and pull them from the right side and automatically copy them. Easy breezy. Um, depending on how much it is, it is a little time consuming, but it's far quicker than any other method. So that's just another tip I wanted to give out there to the beginner DJs like myself or the rookie DJs like myself when it comes to transferring and copying music. Um, that's pretty much it, man. So thank you for the support. Thank you for looking. I hope this helps, you know, new DJs and old DJs alike. Because I know me personally, I have, I think, about 36,000 songs. Some of y'all may have more than that. So when it comes to transferring back and forth, it can get time consuming. And, you know, you can sometimes lose some of those gems. So, you know, with a software like Beyond Compare, you know, you can avoid that. You can avoid that. So I just wanted to give you all that shout out um, real quick also, because this is episode two, by the way. Episode one, you saw me um, do my first gig and then I finished. I never, when I get back from a gig, and I will never, because I will say that's my first real gig, I will never leave my equipment in my car. So actually, this is my setup. You know, this is my living room, my big old TV. My living room slash, because I don't eat over here. My living room slash booth. You know, I just have two um, Rocket 5s. It's my new Mark IV track. I use Pioneer HDJ headphones, 1500s. That's my laptop. And this is my laptop stand. Um, Yeah, love that. So, actually, and then my speakers. I actually keep, you know, back here with, and that bag has my um, cords and cables in it. But... I set it back up as if, you know, I were back home um, like I never left pretty much. So when I unpack from my gig and I know you may be tired, but there's a method to the madness. I, I put everything back, hooked everything back up. So if I woke up the next day and I wanted to fire it up, you know, I could. Two reasons why you do that. Number one, me personally, I did a quick system check just to make sure everything was still working. And number two, it helps you work on. It helps you work on setup and, and breakdown time. You know, I time myself kind of sort of in my head. I'm like, all right, how quick can I set my stuff back up? Like if I were at a gig, you know, how quick could I do this? And also, you know, it's, it's, this is your materials for you to get your job done. You know, you should care about it. You should take care of it. You shouldn't just throw it in the corner. I believe if you take care of your gear, your gear will take care of you. So I treat this stuff very um, special, very fragile. I do need a flight case for my new Mark 4 track. So if anybody knows of any good deals or hookups on new Mark 4 track flight cases, I know they're 250, but brother ain't got it. Trying to get it though. But yeah, put your stuff back the way it was, man. And that's also that's also how you know you get a jump on that next day. Bang, you wake up, you're ready to go. You know if you left a cable, you know if something's not right. You know, and again, it adds to the speed of your setup and breakdown time. So, again, rookie DJs and old head DJs alike, if y'all have any questions or comments about this video, hit me up below. You know, uh, and I'm also going to post some links to some of my social media pages. Feel free to message me, share any information. I'm going to steal something from DJ TLM TV. He always says, share the knowledge. And that's what it's all about, man. So, you know, Beyond Compare is a great software to compare folders that you want to mirror each other. And it's quick, fast, easy. I don't know how much it costs. Matter of fact, let's find out real quick. Let me see if I can get the price. 
Oh, I'm just gonna pull it up. Pull it up real quick. And my internet's not connected, so I ain't pulling nothing up. Excuse my unprofessionalism in this video, and I can't spell. I know some of y'all like, what? This guy is not even prepared. These, this is my life, man. I don't sit down and and try to, you know, format these all the time. I just want to give it to you raw. Um, old version, new license. How much is a new license? Add the card. 30 bucks. Beyond Compare 3 for Windows Standard Edition, 30 bucks. That's a small price to pay, in my opinion. I'm probably going to buy it when this trial runs out. That's a small price to pay for a software that you're probably going to use at least probably two, three, maybe four times a month, depending on how often you get music and you, you're bouncing stuff between. Some of y'all might use it every day. Well worth it. Sorry that took so long. But again, thanks for the support. Like the video. Try and get these views up. Keep on spinning, y'all. Eerie, 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 eerie.